I bought these fragrances because you guys insisted they are 10 out of 10s. I hope I haven't been tricked. I thought a good idea for the channel would be to ask you guys what are some 10 out of 10 fragrances for you. I said you have to insist that these are perfect fragrances to yourselves because that means I can then try them out. So these are fragrances I do not own. I bought them all as samples from Fragrance Samples UK, who aren't sponsoring this video, but I can't deny they never do me wrong. They're the people I usually go to. They've got great prices, good variety of volumes, good shipping, very fast, and they, give, they actually give me a free sample. When you spend over 30 pounds, they got me uh, Zerjoff Don, which, you know, now I can try that out. Maybe I can do a Zerjoff buying guide at some point. So yeah, great website. I recommend them if you're in the UK. I thought, yeah, this would be a good video because I get to try more new fragrances, which is always good for the channel. There's, you don't want to be boring and just talk about the same fragrances over and over. We're trying to keep a variety over here. So we've got five different fragrances I'm going to try today. I have a limited amount of skin. I can't use my left wrist because I have an MFK fragrance on this bit here. Why do I have an MFK fragrance on me? That is a good question. So let's go through each five of these fragrances. I'm going to smell them for the first time on camera. So I haven't smelled them apart from one of them here. I've tried them before, but generally I haven't tried these fragrances before. So it's a live first impression. We'll do the opening for each fragrance and then I'll watch Avatar The Way of Water and then I'll come back and uh, tell you about the dry down of each fragrance. So let's start. Okay, so I've got my guns out, so we got some skin to work with here. So this is the only fragrance from these five that I have tried before, it's YSL's Tuxedo. The fragrance with one of the highest ratings on Fragrantica, seen as one of the sexiest fragrances for men of all time by many YouTube reviewers. I've tried it before and it smells very similar to Rochelle's Mustache Eau de Parfum. I've kind of wondered, you know, is there any point buying it if Mustache gets us so close for a tenth of the price. If you don't know what Tuxedo's DNA is like, uh, we can see the notes on the screen here. It's got a, a rose, warm, uh, ambery, balanced, spicy fragrance DNA with a good hint of patchouli and vanilla. So it's quite sexy, balanced, a nice romantic signature DNA, I would say. Let's try it again and see if I was wrong beforehand. So let's go on the left inner elbow. That smells so close to mustache. Like, yeah, it's a bit more smooth. The ingredients smell a little bit more expensive, but I can't see why you'd get this when mustache exists. It is a sexy DNA, I can't deny it. It is very sexy amber vanilla here. It's like a nice, if you like amber fragrances, you're gonna love tuxedo. The spices smell a bit more realistic than mustache. Mustache is a little bit less on the spices, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of money when mustache exists. I think consider this fragrance if you really love the DNA and you wouldn't just be like, you want to go max out on the DNA, you want to get like the highest quality stuff with this kind of scent profile, consider this. Or Dior's Ombre Nuit will be a similar vibe as well. Not a clone at all, but a similar vibe. I'll see how the dry down is. Then we have Initio Parfums Blessed Baraka, which on the note breakdown shows that there's sandalwood, amber, and musk which is uh, very detailed and it tells us a lot. I'm interested in what this will smell like. If it's anything as good as the Mortal Kombat character it's named after, I think it's gonna be very good then. Right inner elbow. My first time trying this ever. Oh wow. It's a little bit medicinal, Middle Eastern smelling. It's very sweet. That is a very sweet fragrance. Oh wow. That definitely gives a Middle Eastern medicinal vibe. Quite sexy actually. If you like uh, fragrances like Parfum de Marley's um, Habdan, I think you'll like something like this. Wow, that's very sexy. Like very decadent, sweet. I can imagine this being unisex. Whilst Tuxedo, I feel like leans a tiny bit more on the masculine side. Yeah, Blessed of the Baraka, unisex, perfectly in the middle. Like this is super sexy, actually. I can imagine this being a cold weather evening fragrance. So far, I'm really impressed, actually, in the opening of this fragrance. I'm gonna give my ratings out of 10 for all these fragrances at the end to see if my rating is gonna match that 10 out of 10 that you guys have given him. The third fragrance I'm really excited to try. I've heard lots of good things about this. This is Ormond Jane's Montbacco Intensivo, which apparently is an extremely sexy signature fragrance that's very versatile. And so I've been excited to try it. It has some weird notes in there like mountain air. It's got tobacco, suede, sandalwoods. And it's got some interesting notes as well like tea and cardamom, which sounds quite exciting. Sounds like a very complex fragrance. So I think it's something you just have to experience. Let's try it out. Okay, it's very woody. The tea is very prominent, so it's very, it smells very calming and relaxing. It's not exactly how I expected it to be. 
Uh, I would have thought it'd be a lot of tobacco as one of the main characters here, but maybe it will come out in the dry down. It's a very surprising character. The the notes sort of, yeah, it's not it's not really a tobacco fragrance like the name suggests. So far, it's more like a relaxing tea, fresh aromatic fragrance. Sort of like if you enjoy fragrances like Silver Mountain Water, I think you'll enjoy this. Or if you like Himalaya as well, similar vibe. Yeah, it's very sexy, complex. I think it's very refined, more of a mature fragrance. I see this more as a masculine fragrance than feminine. Um, but I think, yeah, this could be like a really nice refined uh, signature for a more mature individual. It's very nice. I think a lot of people won't like the style. I think you have to try it before you buy it, definitely. I'll see how the dry down is. Uh, this is a big one. Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. I've heard some good things about this. But a note breakdown, it seems like it's basically the original combined with leather and suede. So it's probably going to become more masculine, I'd say, but it's still going to be sexy. So I think it's going to be the probably the superior version for us men if you want the nice, sexy date night fragrance of this DNA. So let's try it out. Left back of the hand here. I've got Noir Extreme Parfum on my left hand. Yeah, very strong similarities to the original, but a bit more tobacco y. It smells like there's a bit of tobacco in here. It's a bit of sm more smoky, and I'm looking at the no breakdown, it's probably from the Gaiac Woods. So that's interesting. It's definitely more masculine, this, this flanker. That is really sexy. If you want really, like, I kind of feel like if you're the kind of guy who enjoys fragrances like Dior and Parfum, you want to add some masculinity to your, to your Tom Ford Noir Extreme, this is it. Like, I can imagine it's, it's performing similarly, probably long lasting, but closer to the skin. So far, this is really sexy. It's a nice contrast between like, that playful, sweet gourmand character of the Kofi and then you've got these smoky, leathery notes underneath. Really, really sexy. And I think, yeah, this is definitely only cold weather, but I think this might be another love for me. I love the original, I might love this as well. And finally, Amouage Enclave, which looking at it, it's, you know, Amouage's style of focusing on notes like um, olibanum, which is frankincense, very Middle Eastern smelling notes. And then we have notes like mint in the top. So I think this is gonna be a, like a fresh signature fragrance that they're trying to create here. It's gonna have a Middle Eastern twist, but versatility, freshness. Amber Extreme is meant to be a very potent synthetic molecule. It gives a strong amber character, I imagine. So let's try it out. Amouage Enclave on the right hand. That's smooth. That's really nicely done. That's very like, it smells a bit aquatic actually. I don't know why, but I get an aquatic minty fragrance. Like this is really, if you, like, you're the kind of guy who likes the spearmint freshness that you get from <laughs> chewing gum, like that kind of effect, but in a fragrance, you will really like this. It's actually really sexy. It's complex, it's interesting, it's fresh, but has that tiny nice bit of sweetness from the Amber Extreme. That's not too extreme at all, actually. They've got a nice balance here. So I, I can definitely see this being as like, is it a blue fragrance? It's kind of like, yeah, like a Middle Eastern take on a blue fragrance. It's really sexy. I really like this opening so far. That is incredibly sexy. I'm really happy about that so far. So let's let these fragrances dry down. I'll come back after watching Avatar Way of Water, which, you know, is only like a, a six hour long film, these Avatar films. So it shouldn't be too long, guys. I'll be back in a second. See you in a sec. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back from Avatar Way of Water. The visuals were mind blowing, the characters were compelling, and the pacing was done really well. I think the three hours for me just flew by really quickly. Wait a minute, what were we talking about again? Yes, the fragrances. So, the left arm here and the inner elbow, I've got, first of all, YSL's tuxedo. I think the ingredients smell higher quality than mustache and the blend is a little bit better as well. It projects a little bit better as well than mustache. Is it worth the money? That's gonna be a point of contention. So the scent is there, the performance is average. I feel like I'm getting six to eight hours. It projects nicely the first few hours, becomes closer to the skin. Versatility is fantastic. The price point is a, po is a point of contention. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's a really nice scent. Over on the right side, we have Blessed Baraka by Nicho Parfum. It's not a projecting fragrance in my opinion. It smells like it's very close to the skin, but it's gonna last a long time. It is quite simple. I think the note breakdown does it justice. Sweet, ambery, and woody. So I think it does it very well. The scent profile isn't mind blowing, but it's done well. Performance seems like it's gonna be very long lasting. Its versatility is gonna be limited to cold weather only. And the price, I'm not sure if it's worth this price tag just because of how simple it smells. So overall, I will give Blessed the Baraka an eight out of 10. On the right wrist here, we have Montebacco Intensivo. The scent, again, I would say is for people who enjoy things like uh, Silver Mountain Water or uh, Armani's Eau de Cedre. It really gives it that relaxing, calm, fresh vibe. It becomes more smooth. It's really a nice and complex um, scent. 
there's no one note that really overpowers the others. So the scent profile and the ingredients are very good. Performance seems like it's going to last at least eight hours. Versatility is going to be a nice all year round signature. The price tag, I think it's worth its price. So actually, this is a very good scent actually. Um, is it, this might actually be, okay. This is going to be controversial. I think it's going to be an acquired taste. It's not going to be for everyone, this fragrance. But actually, I think objectively, it gets everything right. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I agree with you. Congratulations. Back of the hand, Noir Extreme Parfum. On the dry down, it starts smelling a lot more like the original. It's going to have a similar amount of performance. It's very sexy, very smoothly blended. I don't think you need to own both. I think it would be redundant to own both, but it's a more masculine, badass version of the original. Scent profile is there, the performance is there. Versatility is going to be limited to cold weather only. I think it's worth its price tag. It gets a 9 out of 10 for Noir Extreme Parfum. And finally, Amouage Enclave. Now, this became a lot sweet on the dry down. This, the ambery, Amber Extreme really actually is extreme. <laughs> it's actually a lot more sweet than I expected. Once the minty aquatic opening goes away, I don't like the fragrance as much. It smells actually a little bit designer for the price tag you're expecting. So it's like woody, ambery, then minty aquatic in the opening. A little bit disappointing. It does smell Middle Eastern. It does have that Amouage style. It's going to be long lasting and it's going to be only limited to cold weather, I think. I'm not sure if it's worth its price tag either. So overall, because of all these reasons, I'm going to say that this fragrance actually deserves a 7 out of 10. And that concludes the video, guys, with Ormond Jane's Mont Tobacco Intensivo having the highest score here. Thank you guys for putting in your submissions. I'm really grateful that I can interact with you guys in this way. And we all learn about new fragrances in an interesting way, hopefully. Would you guys like to see more parts of the series where I try out new fragrances for the first time? Obviously, this is not a perfect review, so take it all with a grain of salt. But hopefully this gives you like a nice little summary of each scent and makes you think about if you want to sample them yourselves. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out our other videos on a similar topic like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to watch Avatar Way of Water. It's really good. Bye.